Flash 35, this is Chris coming at you. If you were wondering whatever happened to that flounder Chris caught, well, you'd be seeing it here today. This is what I'm doing. I am sauteing it, you know, so I'm giving it a nice little crisp on the bottom. And then I'm going to pop it into the oven and cook the top side. I'm just going to hit broil. Um, so about three minutes on either side. So that's what's happening. So on this, I have some dill. I have some of my uh, falafel seasoning that I was talking to you about the other day. Uh, that's that chunky sensation that you see going on there. Um, I also have in here a little bit of uh, fish seasoning, which is actually a product of grace. Let me show you here. Actually, correction. It's a Caribbean rhythm seasoning. Um, you'll find it in, you know, like Asian markets where the grace uh, brand is located. So I have some of this in there. This is my little falafel seasoning. I just have it in a recycled peppercorn bottle so I can grind it up, you know, and use it as my coating when I'm frying or sauteing as we're doing here today. And we have some dill. And I don't know where the dill is right now. Okay, and then for a little kick, we have some traditional pepper. You can see my timer's going off. Time to pop it in the oven. So we got pepper. Last but not least here, we have some dill. You can see it's 365. You might recognize that from Whole Foods. So that's what's happening to the flounder. Um, I may pop back in and let you see it when it's all plated up. All right, stay tuned. All right, here it is plated. So you can see it looks nice, came out nice. You see little colors in there. You know, see it started to crack there, so it's, you know, nice and done. And then on the side here, I have me a little bean dip with some avocado and some uh, rotel, some seasoning in there. So, uh, nice little compliment. I'm trying to eat healthier in the Parker house. So, uh, anyway, hope you enjoy. Hope you are inspired to uh, treat your flounder nice. All right. All right, I'm coming back at you with the second half of the flounder. This is the next day. Uh, felt so nice I had to do it twice. And um, Ray Mack, I'm cheating. I'm, I'm taking a page out your book. You can see I have a little sheet of plastic down here, a little saran wrap type. And um, I just got this nice and seasoned up. So this is actually the, the white side of the flounder, you know, the, the side that actually is on the ocean floor most of the time. And basically I got it seasoned up, got some dill on here. Got some of my um, falafel uh, seasoning that I've been talking about that I use for breading um, as an alternative. Um, I have some of my uh, fish seasoning that I showed you a little bit earlier and a uh, little olive oil and also some dry spicy mustard, you know, just to give it a little kick, a little zest. So um, I'm going to wrap this. Uh, We're going to uh, go to church and uh, when we come back, um, I'm going to pop this in the oven and uh, make it do what it do. And um, I just have a feeling it's going to be awesome. So uh I had to pop in, you know, keep on bringing these little cooking snippets to you because um, I want to help you do those flounder right when you're fortunate enough to catch them. All right, keep watching. so just popping back in just came out of the oven I broiled it for about seven minutes and you can see that it came out beautifully so coming out of that wrap and uh, that marinade um, I'm thinking that this is going to be the bomb diggity and um, I have some mustard greens that we just bought to go with it so that's gonna be a side and um, I think wifey is making something uh, what you making mozzarella bread mozzarella bread I don't know if you ever had that but um, so I might have a little piece of that on my plate too all right, well, y'all be good. Peace out. All right, so I have it plated. You can see I have a mound of mustard greens there and two nice backside, bottom side fillets of flounder. Again, this is the white side, the side that's normally on the ocean floor. Oh, and that fork, um, that's for you. So uh, go ahead and pick it up. All right, peace out.